Yo, what's going on guys, it is me here, I subscribe back to you with a brand new video. Today we have the final part of the breadwinner's house. We're done with the whole structure as you can see over there, the, the basic one. And this is like the rocket van, and I really like how this turned out to look like. It's really small, and, and before I start guys, before I go say anything else, I did not copy this from anyone, as you can see, on, you can go on YouTube and search uh, breadwinner's rocket van. There's nothing like this, I searched myself, just to double check, because if there's someone made it like this, then you, you can tell, you can, you can do whatever you want, but this is my own, my own design, so guys, I hope you do enjoy this, but and before I start guys, do, please leave a like and subscribe, and comment what would love to see me build in the future. I have a lot of builds over there that I still, I still did not build, but without further ado, let me, let, then I don't want to waste your time, let's get into our blocks. So guys, for our blocks you'll need some blue concrete, packed ties, stone brick, stone brick stairs, sand, smooth sandstone, and some black concrete. And as you can see guys, uh, over there it's floating over the ground. You can build this wherever you want, you can build it going inside the house like, like they blast inside. But I'm going to build it up in the sky. So I'm just gonna go up, like, I don't even have a, a number for it, but I'm just gonna go up, 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 like let's say over here, and let's extend it a little bit outwards. So I'm gonna be building it from that last block, let me just break all of this. I'm gonna break this and I'll be right back. So guys, I just bro broke out that structure that I just made, that placement blocks. So now we should have this black concrete or whatever block you used. I used black concrete and you should too. So from that black concrete, going in front of it, add a blue concrete. In front of that concrete, place an upside down uh, stone brick stair. My batteries are running out. Okay, so place an upside down stair. To the right of that stair, go to the right by four. So one, two, three, four. There should be five in total. And then go back from that last uh, stone brick stair back by one with your blue terra concrete. And go back by one with your black. I'm gonna give you a bird's eye view on it. And now what you can do from these two block concrete is go back by three with your blue. It should look like this. And then place a black behind those three. And then let's double. And then just place an upside down stairs behind of them and connect them to each other. So this is how it should look like now guys. Pause the video if you need to. And one more block that I forgot. Grab yourself some blue concrete powder. So where we have this uh, blue, let me just tell you the pattern. Where upside down cobbles, uh, not upside down stone brick stair. A black uh, concrete. Three blue concrete. One black, one blue, one upside down stair. So we're gonna start on top of these uh, up, upside down cobblestone stairs in the front. We're gonna place blue concrete on top of it. And then go behind of it. And then let's just start on the side because this is the, the front complete. Now choose any side that you want. It doesn't really matter. We want, you want to add one row of blue on top of it. Going all the way back, and then start from the, this back block. Go to the left by one, two, and then place a smooth sandstone. Go to the right of that sandstone by four. So one, two, three, four. It should look like this. Go back to the left. One blue, three sandstone, three blue. To finish this off place two rows of blue on top of it and that last row on top extend it going to the right out by one I'm gonna give you a side view on it so it should look like this go to the other side and copy the exact same thing okay so I'm almost done okay so don't forget to do two rows and then add that run rug extending and then you can connect them on top of here with your blue concrete just fill in the top boom it should look like this and we have this like on the front 
you can uh, connect this to, together with your pack ties. Should look like this. Go to the back. Do you see where I have these three empty blocks? On top of this uh, stone brick stairs. Add two rows of blue concrete on top of it. Concrete powder. Then go from left to right. One concrete powder. One pack ties. One concrete powder. Finally, the last row will end with concrete powder. And guys, that's the rocket vent complete. And now, all we're gonna need is grab yourself an item frame. Red concrete. Yellow concrete. And what? where is it? Mm, yeah, grab yourself some iron trap doors. Levers. And some string. And an anvil. And some stone buttons. If I can find them. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah, grab yourself some uh, redstone block. So those are the blocks that you'll need in my inventory. Let's start out with our item frames. You want to go to the front. Do you see where we have this row above the stone brick stairs? On the left and right block, place an item frame. And place yellow concrete inside, of, on the, inside the item frame. And then in those three metal blocks, place three iron trap doors. Go to the inside. And do you see where I have this pack ties? Underneath it, place levers. Flick them down. And boom, they should uh, shut shut down. And in the bottom, you can fill in with your concrete. I forgot to do that, so fill in the bottom with your concrete powder. With your concrete, that's it. And that's it for the... Like, for the... For the front, but there's one more uh, item frame placing. So, do you see we have this extending on the top right and the top left? Place an item frame on top of them, and then place red concrete inside of them. It should look like this. And then on the tires or on the wheels, you can you can place uh, stone uh, buttons, and then place item frames on the on the block, and place your redstone block. So it should look like this. Go ahead and do it on the other side. So item frame, item frame, redstone, redstone. Should look like this. And go to the back. And where we have this like, this uh, packed ice. Go diagonal to the right from that ice, place a, a stone button. And on the, on the bottom left, place a button. And place the on the top left and top right. Item frames with red concrete inside of them. It should look like this. And now for the final part for the main uh, belt, like for the van itself. Do you see where we have this first row of packed ice in the front? Go to the left and place drink. You can barely see it, but place it in this position. And let the anvil, place the anvil on top of it and let it face sideways. You don't want it facing like this. Cause it look weird. Go ahead and do it on the other side. So it should look like this. And that's pretty much it for the rocket van complete. And now all we need is the rocket. <laughs> and for that, grab yourself some red wool, gray wool, white wool, and well, for the glass we'll get that later. Cause uh, it's it has, it's gonna use a lot of blocks. It's gonna use the whole inventory. So for that, for now we're gonna use this. And what we want to do is go on to the back, and on these three middle blocks, where we have this door, place like a row diagonal up with your gray. So uh, this is on the back, place it like extending outwards, and do do upright diagonal, up left diagonal. Boom, extend up up by two, both of them, and then connect them up diagonally by three should look like this and now what we want to do is extend these going forwards so going to the front of the van go to the front by four rows with your right wall I'm gonna do that real quick boom almost done with this and that's gonna be the right white wall complete and the not the gray complete but the white wall and the gray and then where we, where we did those four white Add a row of gray in front of that. 
I'm gonna give you a, a side view on it. And then place a row of red in front of it. Boom, it should look like this. And then just do like this inner circle. I don't, you should pause the video and it should look easy. So do this. Like there's gonna be a one block spacing. And then place an outwards diagonal going like a block sticking out. It should look like this. And now let's do those like rocket things that they have. So to do that, you want to start on, on the top where I have these two metal blocks. Place two red on top of them. On the back block, place one on top, one to the left. One on top, one to the left. It should look like this. And on the same thing on the left side, two blocks. On the back one, place one going outwards, one back, one outwards, one back. So this is how it should look like. Exact same thing on the other side. It should look like this. And now guys, for the final part, delete those in your inventory. Grab yourself some red wool, orange wool, yellow wool, red stained glass, orange stained glass, yellow stained glass, and red stained glass pane, orange stained glass pane, and yellow stained glass pane. As you can see, it filled up the inventory, so that's why I didn't grab the blocks. And if you're wondering what is this for, this is like the flame on the back of the rocket van. So we want to go to the back of the rocket, where we have this 3x3 three three area. And then this is, doesn't really need a lot of explaining, you can do it on your own. But you want to make like a fire coming outwards. So uh, <laughs> I don't really know how to put this for you, but try to make a flame coming out of the rocket van. I'm a, I'm a back up. This is way too flat. Now let's grab, let's grab this real quick. Okay. As you can see, this is a little bit flat, but okay. Let's place a yellow, yellow. So let, I'm gonna just fix this up. Okay, that's pretty good. If you do ask me, let's add one here. And then after you made your flame that you're happy with, just add your glass randomly. So I'm just add this glass on random areas. And then with your glass plane, do the exact same thing. Let's get rid of this. Let's see, that looks awesome. So guys, that's the rocket van complete. Let me just get rid of my inventory. So guys, this is the rocket van complete. Let me get rid of my hood. So yeah guys, if you, I hope you did enjoy this tutorial, and it's a, it's a really easy one, I don't even have plans, and I made it. So yeah guys, I'm going to show you real quick around my world, if you want to see it, there's, there's a, a playlist on my channel, you can go check it out. So uh, let me just grab my rockets real quick. We have this uh, long extrusion tutorial, the Gravity Falls Mystery Shack, where's my rockets? Okay, there is, and here's Rocco's Modern Life, that, that has a tutorial. And before I start guys, before I show the world, if you see a house that has double, like it's made twice, you, that means it has a tutorial, so check it out on the channel, I have a playlist for my cartoons house. The Fell Odd Parents, Tammy Turner, and we have Billy's House from the, Advent the Grim Adventures of Bill and Mandy. And we have Courage the Cowardly Dog's house, which is really awesome, yet simple. Excuse me, my nose is dripping. And we have the con con Counterfeit Cat, I don't really know how to say it, but... This is this is one of my favorite builds. It's really easy, all of my builds are easy, but... It's, re it's really freaking awesome. And let's go up here. Where we have Ed's, Eddie's house from Ed and Eddie. This is uh, gonna be like after done, I'll tell you how this, this is his house, so basically, this is Ed's house, this is Ed, as you can see I wrote down Ed, because uh, I, I, I get confused, and right here we have Mandy's house from the Grim Adventures Bill and Mandy, we have Squidward's house, all of these don't have the tutorial, so 
uh, they're, they're gonna come in the, in the near future. We have SpongeBob SquarePants house, which is my favorite house. Don't tell me this does not look like a pineapple. I think I nailed this so good, I even have the garage on the back. So you can't tell my damn copy it. So, and, and we have the chimney, where I add some cob cobwebs for extra effect. We have Patrick's house. It's really easy. And of course, we have the breadwinners. And finally, not finally, there's one more built. There's the atomic puppet. And all the way in the distance over there, there's a, a pretty epic built. A really, really epic built. I, uh, this is gonna be like one of my favorite builds of all time. It's really simple, yet yeah, it was so easy to make. But the amount of, it's really simple, but the amount of detail that's that's in it looks freaking awesome. Guys, don't tell me this does not look awesome. This is a self-made, uh, it's a self-made dragon. And if you're wondering how did I build this, I grabbed my dragon head, placed it down, take down the dimensions, and then I just switched the blocks out, and I added the mustache and the eyebrows and some flames. And this is the black smoke that comes from the from his fire breathe. And I added some like curves to the head to the head as you can see we have this is a curve and dent and whatnot over here. So guys, it, I, I've been rambling a lot. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment what you'd love to see me do next. It's been me, Arnold Craft. Peace.